Do you believe we are alone in the universe? Two men say that a series of events dating back to 2012 have let them know that there is extraterrestrial life out there. WWAY's Holden Kowicki has more in the lead at 5.30. It's only on three. In the beginning, I was very nervous at times. Being a family man with young children, these lights are happening very close to my home. Very, very close. Just several hundred feet away and oftentimes not much higher than the trees. Brendan Brodsky and Joe Kiernan are two everyday guys who claim to see lights in the Carolina sky that are out of this world. Most of the time it starts off with one orb, a one orange orb that's almost see-through, and then they'll string out, almost like they burst out of each other. Just And there's no sound, there's no helicopters, airplanes, nothing that could be explained. Natural skeptics, the men have taken their sightings to the authorities, and more often than not, are left searching for answers. We've called on many times the FAA to see if there's been any pilot reports or anything reported in the sky in that area at the time. Uh, we've checked with Shaw Air Force Base to see if they had any training exercises going on. And uh, usually on these very high active nights, there's, there's nothing going on at all. While many may be scared off by the experience, the men say it has opened their mind up to a whole new world of thinking. We are not alone, uh, realistically and mathematically. I don't believe it's possible. There's, there's many more out there. It'd just be kind of ignorant, I think, to say we're just the only life form, well, the only intelligent life form in this whole universe that's constantly expanding. In Brunswick County, Holden Kerwicki, WWAY News Channel 3.